Two local men with perspectives that can't be farther from each other. One is this man, a local leader of the Loyal White Knights, who gave me this card. It says, Save Our Land, Join the Clan. And it also says, White Lives Matter and White Pride Worldwide. Now, he says he leads a Christian organization and he's recruiting others to join his cause. No, I'm, I'm Ken, the Grand Dragon of Loyal. I know it's the Ku Klux Klan. Uh, other people know me as Chief Sunday. That man won't say he participated, but he admits his organization is behind what you see here. Friday, someone drove through various neighborhoods in Jacksonville and dropped off flyers which said things that offended people, like Miles Joyner. Just shocked. We were, we were shocked for that to happen in Riverside because, you know, it's a multicultural area. No, we've been just uh, kind of laying in wait, and uh, time sprung up, and we decided to uh, take action. You'll be seeing a lot more of us. Grand Dragon Ken told us that the flyers to recruit others is just the beginning, that other KKK members have been recruiting recently in Tallahassee and will be recruiting across the state. I'm not against other races. I'm against other races ruining my country. They can go back to Africa. I don't care. What kind of response are you getting from this? Uh, we're getting a very positive response, as a matter of fact. I've had about, you can ask, uh, Ask her. I've had, my phone's been going off the hook all day long. Uh, I've had probably about 200 phone calls people wanting to join today. We're getting a very positive response. Ken says there are 1,500 Klan members in Jacksonville already, and that their most recent meeting took place over the weekend in a local restaurant where about 18 people attended. For his part, Miles Joyner says he called police when he realized the flyer was recruiting membership in the Ku Klux Klan. Um, for someone to to come at me and my roommates like that while we're at our house doing right things, you know, doing good things by each other. Um, yes, it does frighten me because that's where I lay my head at night. This should be about peace, man. It's, it's be about good vibes, pure vibes. We should all love each other. And I feel that the people that go out and hand those pamphlets to people and they, they, they don't stand for anything positive, anything pure, anything good. Riverside, Lakewood, Mandarin, among the places those flyers were distributed. The News for Jack's crime and safety analyst Gil Smith says it's difficult to verify membership and leadership in the Ku Klux Klan. We were not able to independently verify Grand Dragon Ken's credentials or his claim of 1,500 members here in Jacksonville. Joy.